Hey, what's going on YouTube Nation? Welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Rich and this is Project X where 100% of our projects work 20% of the time. The topic of today's video is following on to the part two of how to wire up this air compressor. From last week's video, we still have the wiring diagram. Try to focus in here a little bit for you. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the follow-up to the physically how we did it. So, jumping right into things. Right here we have the air compressor for you. And when I received it, it came with this power distribution box. But no way to connect it. So what I did is, went, purchased a 6 tack 50 p plug. And if you notice on the plug, it tells you how to wire it to the 6.3 SOOW cable. And get it to focus in. Black, green, white. There you go. Now to follow on into the compressor itself. Let's get this up here and out of the way. Now, in the cable comes into the box through here. From there, I've stripped the wire casing back to expose the three wires that were inside. You have a black, a white, and a green. The black wire runs here. Come on up, there we go. Connects to this post. The white wire connects to this post. And I ran the green wire over here into the back. Come over to the ground. And that's how I made connection. Now, Pay very close attention how you run your black, your white, and your green, and how you line it up with on the plug, because that's going to be important with the current when we get over to the power panel. Set this guy back down. Big old beast of a cord, but it wasn't too hard to wire up. Now, moving on over to the uh, power panel. Oh, before I do, I'd like to take a second and give a shout out to a good friend, Dennis, who loaned me this pallet jack. Without that, moving this big beast of an air compressor around the garage while we do all this work and getting the new power panel in, all these new outlets would have been virtually impossible having to work around. So, man, can't enough be said what it means to have good neighbors and good friends that are always willing to come around and help you out when you need it. Thanks again, Dennis. I really appreciate it. Now, coming over here to the power panel. What we did is, first of all, I got my rough in inspection and we've passed. That being said, I'll show you how I wired up the air compressor itself. Sorry about a little bit of the shake on this one. Trying to use the selfie stick for the first time and line things up, make it easier to show, but it's a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. All right, so now over here at the power panel, I installed a 50 amp breaker to serve the compressor. Compressor draws 33.8 amps, so had to go all the way up to the 50 amp uh, breaker to serve the compressor. And also the reason why I chose such a big power cord with the 6.3 instead of an 8.3. So after your breaker's installed, I got 6.2 wire. The 6.2, if you remember from last week's video, looks just like this and it comes spin this guy around oh there we go it comes with three wires inside of it black white ground and you'll connect those I put the black wire to this pole of the double pole breaker I put the white wire to this pole of the double pole breaker and then I ran the ground to my bus bar those lines then run up the panel. See how we can get this little bit out. And then up, let's zoom back to the overhead. There we go. It comes up and around over to here. And then from here, we come down, we have a connection box. In the side of your connection box, strip the wire back, and you'll have those same three wires exposed. 
move this down and get you a little bit closer in on the video here. We have inside the box a black wire, the white wire, and a ground wire. All of those are mixed in. Oh, hey, Tuck. Come here, Tuck. Daisy. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Say hi, Amanda. Hello. This is my daughter, Amanda. She decided to make a guest appearance on today's video, as did Tucker. Tucker's back. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Uh-oh, we get the butt. Tucker loves to give you the butt. Oh, that's a good Tucker. That's a good Tucker. <laughs> All right, baby girl, I'm going to jump back into this. I was going to leave. Oh, I'll give you a great big hug. Love I you. I love you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, bye Tucker. I'll bye. see you tomorrow, little buddy. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. So coming back into the connection box, had to tell the daughter by before she left for the evening. Her and Tucker stop by each day and say hello. So back to the connection box. So inside the connection box, I told you we had the black wire, the white wire, the green, the ground. We took the ground, ran it in. Whoa, sorry, ran it over here to the wire nut and made two connections coming out. One connects to grounding the box and the other goes to the green ground. I don't know if we can get the back. Uh, you're gonna have to look at last week's video, but it goes to the green ground screw. Now we paid very close attention and lined up the black wire to here, the white wire to here, so that when we plug this in, it still goes black wire to black wire in the plug, white wire to white wire, green wire to green wire. And that's what it's going to take to get your compressor up and running. So thanks a lot for stopping in today, guys. I appreciate your time and I hope you continue to follow along on this build series because we got a lot of things coming up and I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated with everything we're doing. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Take care.